Holiday traditions may look a little bit differently this year But that shouldn't prevent us from making new ones I'm talking creamy, decadent squash soup But with a little less stress We use ingredients that we've already bought And that saves time and money and makes more relaxing This bowl of love comes together in just a little bit of time Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank Welcome to Struggle Meals. So I'm prepping up a bunch of ingredients for my holiday menu for a couple days from now. But I'm also going to take some of these ingredients and make a soup with it now. This is really smart because I'm prepping once and I'm getting more than one dish out of it. These are going in the fridge. So I'm going to make a squash soup. And every good soup, in my opinion, starts with a nice base of onion and celery. Throw a little butter in there. Throw some oil as well. Let's get these guys in. Onion and celery. Some garlic. A little bit of salt and pepper in there for sure. Here it is. Squash. First thing I like to do is take off the top here. That way when we peel it, there's a defined end. Now I can just peel and it comes right to the edge. You see that? If I use a knife, I'm gonna lose a lot of good product. But this thing perfectly cuts the right amount below the surface of the skin. So I maximize my purchase. Don't be afraid. Woohoo! Let's make sure you got a good grip. Great. And now what we can do is cut these in half this way. That makes it a lot easier to cut these into cubes. And now this one's gonna have all the seeds in it. I can scoop them out with a spoon and they'll be a delicious free topping. When cutting a squash, you must think in three dimensions. This way, this way, and this way. First, we'll go in this direction. Now we'll go straight down. Get a good grip on your knife. Every time you make a cut, ask yourself, if I slip, will I cut myself? The answer needs to be no. It needs to be no. And now we get our cubes. See that? Okay. I'm gonna throw these in the soup. Let's add some apple. I always like to do this thing with an apple, see if I can make one peel go the entire way. Maybe I'll do it on television. Oh my goodness, this is going really well. Ah, oh darn. That was still pretty good though, look at this. I can hang things from this. Same deal, let's cut that apple in half this way, perpendicular. Beautiful, apples are going in. How do we make it more festive? The answer, of course, is with fresh herbs. And I'm a fan of sage in this instance. And the sage is going in. All right, coming in with some vegetable broth. Flavor creation is over. Flavor melding commences. Well, that was really easy. All I have to do is let it simmer. And now, me and Piggy, we got a little extra time on our hands. Look at this baby, boiling away. I'm just gonna turn this off and let it cool a bit, and then I'm gonna blend it up. And then we're gonna have a smooth and thick, amazing soup. And that's why we're gonna make some cheesy toast points. Because it's fast, it's easy, and it elevates it with almost no effort at all. I've got some bread, I've got a knife. Now I can put my thoughts into action. I will slice the bread. Listen, you can totally use fresh bread for this, but it's also a great way to deal with bread that's starting to go off the deep end, you know what I mean? It's got a very acute angle here. Talking about pointy. We're gonna butter these up. Probably should have done it before I cut it, but I've got so much extra time on my hands, I can afford to make a few mistakes. The butter is gonna add a ton of flavor, obviously. It's gonna make these crispy, but it also serves another purpose. The purpose of being glue. Some salt, pepper, some Parmesan cheese. Can't be a cheesy toast point without cheese. Just think about melting. These are gonna go into the broiler until they're crispy, crunchy, and ready. The number one rule of broiling is to pay attention because things happen real fast. You don't want to mess it up. It's time to blend. Wow, look at all the heat that comes out. That looks great. Here we go, I smell cheese. Look at that good cheese melting. A little fresh parsley on top. Look at that color contrast. And let's make a bowl of this, what do you say? Here are my cleaned and toasted squash seeds. Don't you think that just completes the whole picture? Cheesy toast point, squash soup, made with ingredients prepped for something else. It's sweet and delicious. Mm. Can't beat it. It's creamy, it's festive. It's got the nice little crispiness of those seeds with salt. 
And then of course the toast points. You're creating a textural differentiation in your eating experience. This soup comes out to $2.39 a serving, but I think the best part is how low stress it was to get this on the table. I had so much free time, I was able to deal with other things and check boxes off of my list. How did this happen? Because the ingredients from this soup were prepped up by me for a dish that is yet to happen, which reduced stress which is probably the number one thing I want this time of year, and you do too.